Hello everybody. We're having a look today at um, a budget knife from Marbles. This is the first one of theirs that I've added to my collection and this one is a Jumbo Trapper. Okay so here's how the knife comes. Quite a robust cardboard box printed with some old timey pictures and inside the box we have a padded zipper pouch pouch is quite nice actually but if you bear in mind that this knife costs just 20 pounds in England and it is quite a big knife if we look at the overall length That's almost four and a half inches. It's about 113, 114 millimeters. It's a standard trapper format. You get a clip blade with the marbles logo there and stamped into the tang. And you get a spay blade. And as you see, both of these blades have a half stop, which I think is quite good because the back spring is powerful. Mainly, I suppose, just by virtue of being quite thick and quite long. But the construction is two separate back springs, brass liners, brass spacer, jig bone scales, nickel silver bolsters, and the name badge in the handle there. We've got the fancy milled out Rough Rider style nail nick. These are made in China. So it wouldn't surprise me if it was the same factory. And there, just on the tang, you can see the model number. The marbles 117, I think that is. Yeah, MR117. And China. As I say, it's a, it's a big knife. The usual size comparison, the Victorinox Spartan copy, is a bit uh, dwarfed by the marbles. It's much more of a similar size to a big Swiss Army knife like this Forester. Quite a substantial blade. It's a heavy knife as well. We'll get the scales out. Oh, hang on. 164 and a half grams. What's that in English? Five point eight ounces. As you can see, it's quite a big, substantial handle. If you look across the back there, that's about eighteen millimeters across, three quarters of an inch. The fit and finish overall is good. The joins between the scale and the bolsters are fine. It's all nice and flush on the back. There is a little bit of a glue gap you can see around the scale there. And that's not 100% flush along that edge. But the main problem is the pins. We've got four pins on each side and where the bone is smoothed out at the front, that's flush. But these three all stand quite proud and the same on the other side. For some of them, like that one, or that one, you don't notice too much because the jigging is very deep 
and it does um, cover up that floor but these two on each side are more out in the open and that one particularly is very sharp you'll see on the close-up pictures I don't think these have been pinged over at all I think they've been cut off square and then when the handle's been polished up it's taken any burr off but left a very square end and that's disappointing because if it wasn't for that I think this knife would be a bargain at £20 one thing we do need to look at of course is the factory edge so we'll get the ooh, get the clip point so we've got some catalogue paper there's no trouble at all there does sound like quite a nice smooth cut so we'll try it on the phone book paper look at that that's nice oh that's very nice I wonder if that quality carries through to the spay blade now these are 440A so it's not the best steel in the world but you're not paying the biggest price in the world either and again that's lovely so I'm assuming we'll get the same performance on the phone book paper now that is a good factory edge I'm very impressed with that so 20 pounds you get a large knife good blades good fit and finish generally but these pins are a concern I think for me I'd have preferred it if it hadn't have bothered with the pouch and used the cost saving to put a bit more machining time into the production and got these rounded off and smoothed down a bit it may be that if you were to buy one of these yours wouldn't have this problem I've only got direct experience of one marbles knife so I don't know whether that's typical or whether it is just a one-off but nevertheless I'm quite pleased with it I'll probably try and sort those pins out myself But in the meantime, that's my latest big budget blade. It's covered in fingerprints because they are quite polished, the scales. There we go, that'll do. The Marbles Jumbo Trapper. Thanks for watching. Wing, <laughs>